Hey there, with all the automations we've got going now, I thought I would show you how to take an outline that you have in a Word document and how to bring that right into PowerPoint to create slides from your Microsoft Word outline. So uh, what you would start with, let's just start with the Word documents. So it, here I have a a description and some bullet points of a program that I am trying to set up as a slide presentation. Um, I want you to notice that right here I've got all these set in the normal style. For instance, clicking the corner of that styles group, I can open this up and there you'll see that all of these are set in the normal style. Now, I tried this a couple of times and it didn't always import all the normal style elements, although it's going to do it now when I show you. I also set it up, this would be, I think, probably the preferred method where I would pick anything that I want to have its own slide and I would use the styles group and apply a heading one. Like this paragraph of text, I don't need a slide for that. I might copy and paste that into my notes area in PowerPoint, but I don't need it here. So in this case, I'm being more uh, specific about what content I would like to see as a slide heading. All right, so create that, save it up, close it up, and then get your PowerPoint open. On the PowerPoint, First thing you'd want to do is go to um, the outline view because that we're going to be dealing with text, bringing in text, and it's easiest to work with in this outline view. Uh, you could change to outline view here and then just copy and paste. That's another method to bring it in. Um, if you copy and paste your text in, then you will use tab to bring uh, the uh, text items in or shift tab to bring them out or uh, promote and demote items. I'll show you that as well. But for this one, also I like to use the normal button down here. Uh, when I do the normal, I can toggle in and out of the outline view. So that's a faster way for me to get there. I actually use usually do this one down here, normal view. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm going to go to the new slide option and roll down to slides from outline. And here I will pick the first file and insert it. And here it's going to make the different slides for uh, what I've got set up in there. Okay, this is not too bad. I'd probably like cut this out and put it in the notes of the main slide and then go from there. That's something I could work with. Let's go down here though and let's do it again. What if I do new slide, slides from outline, and let's use digital note taking two and insert it. The difference with this one is it only brought in those headings for me. It's interesting, it brought in the font style that I had for the heading from Word. That's another thing that you might want to play with. For instance, up here you'll see it came in in this, which is not the heading style that I have on each slide template. If you were to look at my actual slides, if you were to go to the, um, uh, let's see, the view, there it is, Slide Master, you'll see that I have this, this particular brand font for my different heading styles. So what I would like to do is have those slides pick that up. And one way you could do that is to select all those at once. And here I've got a, there's a reset for your slide that will actually reset it to your slide layout feature. So this will be a fast way. You see I've selected all those and I can select that and it resets those to the actual font that I like. So if you're bringing them in, maybe that will be 
helpful. Um, I mentioned the promote and demote kind of options. That's something you could do. You could right click and here you've got promote is at the very top level of your outline. So demote brings it in uh, there. We're kind of hiding under this, but it's there. It demoted it here. If I select those and promote, it brings it back to individual slides. So just a few things to get you started. Of course, I did mention too that you could um, go ahead and open one of those documents. Let's open that first one. And if you wanted to, you could just select the text, Control C, come back to PowerPoint. I'm going down to the end here paste that in and you see how it pasted it all on one slide so what I would want to do there is to um, I could demote all of those so I'm getting the individual bullets because it looks like it was um, putting it all in one paragraph now let me try to promote all of those bullets and there I have them in so you might like copy and paste the easiest, but certainly new slide, uh, reusing, or, or pardon me, getting slides from outline might be uh, an efficient method for you. Just depends on the document and how you want to do it. Anywho, hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Be sure and subscribe.